any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. Nothing in this show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. You should always do your own research and draw your own conclusions. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Whatever time you may be watching this, this is Stephen with Pardon My Folly. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be talking about the Rosenau experiment. Now, there's can't really go into much of my opinion uh, and where I what I really want to say, you know, they rip our tongues out on certain platforms. But really, I just want to make a quick video to go over this uh, summary of this experiment and then leave the link in the description. That way you can go check it out yourself, uh, the summary of it. You can also go check out the JAMA article on it and read the whole experiment. But this was an experiment done in 1918 and 1919 about the Spanish bug, the FL. You, like I said, you got to be careful what we say. Now, this right here is a picture of Dr. Milton Rosenau. Right here. Dr. Milton Rosenau. And like I said, he conducted these experiments in two cities in 1918 and 1919. These two cities were, if you look right here, the Boston Harbor on Angel Island and on the other coast, sorry, on the other coast, in San Francisco. So 1918, two cities. He performed this experiment. And as we read through this, it's very interesting um, how he did it and the conclusion that he came away from each step that he did. So let's just get right into it. The experiment began with a hundred volunteers from the Navy who had no history of the bug. Dr. Rosenau was the first to report on experiments conducted at the Gallops Island in November, December of 1918, and his first volunteers right here received one strain and then several strains of Pfeiffer bacillus by spray and swab into their noses and throats and then into their eyes. And that's pretty direct, pretty direct contact there. It, it, it even gets more direct than that in a minute. But then that did not produce this. That did not produce that. So then others were then, this word, with mixtures of other organisms isolated from the throats and noses of bug patients. Next, some volunteers received injections of blood from bug patients. That's even more direct. And then finally, that didn't produce, that didn't produce, uh, the D word either. So then finally he took 13 of the volunteers into a bug ward and exposed them to 10 bug patients each. And look what he had them do. Each of them had to shake hands with the patient, talk with him at close range, and then permit him to cough directly in the face. And look what the conclusions right here were. None of the volunteers in the experiments developed the bug. And Dr. Rosenau was clearly puzzled, and he cautioned against drawing conclusions from the negative results. Well, of course he did. Uh, he ended his article in JAMA with a telling acknowledgement. We entered the outbreak with a notion that we knew the cause of, and were quite sure we knew how it was transmitted from person to person. Perhaps, if we have learned anything, it is that we are not quite sure what we know about that. So real quick, uh, go back over it. I got a few notes here. So it was in two cities, 100 volunteers. He did, uh, in this summary, he had he did the spray and swabs into the noses, throat, and eyes. That didn't work. Then he injected blood from actual bug patients here. That didn't work. So then he took 13 volunteers into a bug ward with 10 bug patients each, had them shake hands, talk at close range, 
and cough in their face. And none of this caused the bug to be transmitted. Now, I land on the side of the terrain and not the germ. Uh, I don't even think it's a theory anymore. I think terrain is pretty much where it's at. Now, I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. And what I would like is you guys to read this, look over it, tell me what you think in the comments, uh, give me your point of view. It's very interesting, and there's more of these out there, but you know, these never get reported on for obvious reasons. Uh, but we're kind of dealing with this right now. If you look behind me, you know, this is supposed to be a picture, supposedly, of the 19, 1918 and 1919 um, Spanish bug pandemic right here. And look familiar? I mean, that's pretty much what we got going on right now. The last two years or, yeah, about two years. A little over two years, I think. And this is what we've been going through. So it seems like it's like an every 100 year thing. It's pretty weird. Which everything in this world's weird. But yeah, check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. Give me your thoughts and comments on it. Um, see where you land. And thank you all for listening. Hope you have a good night. Or a good morning. Or a good afternoon. But uh, this is Stephen with Pardon My Folly. But hear me out. Thank you.